Tonight, a bicyclist is in the hospital after the Marion County Sheriff's Department chased him down Tuesday night and a cruiser collided with him. Some witnesses are raising questions about that crash. RTV 6's Graham Hunter is live downtown. He's been talking with both sides, getting a fuller picture of what happened. Graham. Mark, the chase ended right here at Washington in Illinois with an arrest. There's no disputing that fact, but some of the witnesses that I've talked to are telling a different story than the one that's being presented by the Marion County Sheriff's Office, and the moment in question was caught on camera. I mean, it's something that I never thought that I would ever see in my life. Drake Strange is still shaken up by what he saw Tuesday night. About three or four cops are chasing a man on bike. The sheriff's office says they were chasing Devin White for failing to register as a sex offender, a felony. And he rides right, you know, right across Illinois Street. What happens next is being disputed by witnesses. Or he's on the edge near the sidewalk. Black cop car pulls up and straight cuts him off while he's on the sidewalk and he flips right, right into the windshield. The Sheriff's Department tells RTV6 when White rode across the street, he hit a Marion County Sheriff's Office vehicle. Who hit who in your mind? A cop definitely hit him. Definitely hit him. I talked to two other people off camera tonight who also say the deputy intentionally hit White. They figured out a way to, you know, brutalize someone without shooting them. And I just, I just felt like it was entirely unnecessary. IMPD investigated the crash and in a report list, two witnesses is saying the guy on the bicycle hit the car. I feel like it just wasn't necessary for him to, you know, hit him dead on. The Sheriff's Department says there is no internal investigation, but Strange thinks there should be. At least some kind of review on how did they, how they handle these practices when it comes to pursuing criminals. A sheriff's deputy was injured in this case. He's out of the hospital and cleared to return to full duty. Devin White was charged with failing to register as a sex offender and resisting arrest. He's still in the hospital tonight and expected to be okay. Reporting live from downtown Indianapolis, Graham Hunter, RTV6. Graham, thank you. And working for you, RTV6 asked an expert to look at the video for a keen perspective. Specifically, we wanted to know who initiated the contact and did the sheriff's deputy do the right thing? Jim White is the former deputy director of the Indian a law enforcement academy. Listen to his analysis. It okay. showed him coming up, blocking the path, and you can see the front end of the vehicle go down, and it looks like the individual on the bicycle hit the front of the police cars. White says he doesn't think the video shows an excessive use of force by the deputy driving the car. White tells RTV6 the suspect ran into the deputy and that the actions of the deputy are, quote, totally justified.